Hello dear students, welcome to the sixth video in the series Organic Chemistry, Some Basic Concepts. We shall be talking about a very basic concept here called as bond fission, breaking up of a bond. In any chemical reaction involving organic compounds, the substrate gets attacked by a reagent in order to form an intermediate which being unstable breaks down to form products. When a reagent attacks the substrate, the substrate undergoes breaking up of the bond in order to be able to form new bonds to give us the intermediate. This breaking up of the bond can be simply indicated by the word lysis. Lysis means breaking. Now this breaking can take place in two ways. For example, there's a sandwich there are two people, they can share that, san they, this sandwich can be divided in two ways. One, they share the sandwich equal, equally or the other is whosoever is more powerful takes away the piece of sandwich. So we have homolytic, that means they have come together to form a bond when they part ways also, each one takes away its electron. That is homolysis or homolytic fission. The bond breaking happens in such a way that each of the sharing atom or group takes away its electron. With the result, each one of them will have an unpaired electron denoted by a dot over here. If you notice over here, very carefully, we are talking about only one electron shifting towards each of the atoms. Hence, it's indicated by the half arrow also called as the fish hook arrow because we are talking about movement of only one electron from here to B and from here to A. Such type of intermediates are free radicals. The free radicals have unpaired electron but they are neutral. This type of bond breaking usually happens when substances are exposed to heat light or there are specific reagents we call as initiators like peroxides. A very simple example of free radical is when chlorine molecule will break down to give us chloride free radical when we are reacting methane with chlorine. The details of this reaction you will study under free radical substitution but for the time being just understand that there is free radical, uh, sorry, there is homolytic fission happening over here and free radicals are formed. Such type of reactions involving homolytic fission usually take place at a fast rate and they are called homolytic or homopolar reactions and it has been observed that mostly they will occur in vapor Phase. Coming to heterolytic bond fission. Hetero means unequal. It's not equal. So you buy a sandwich between two people but so whosoever is stronger takes away the sandwich by force and the other one is left with none. So we've taken two possibilities over here. A and B have come together to form a bond. A being more powerful. Now, in the language of chemistry, we use the word electronegative. For just for the short form of written negative sign, it's actually electronegative. So, whosoever is more electronegative takes away the shared pair of electrons. Unlike homolysis, where they were taking one one electron of the shared pair, here A has taken away both the electrons of the shared pair. That is why if you notice we've added a, we have indicated it by a complete arrow, not half arrow like we did in homolysis. Or if B is more electronegative, B is more powerful, it takes away the shared pair of electrons. If A is more electronegative, it takes away the shared pair of electrons, it acquires a negative charge. B on the other hand will acquire a positive charge. Second possibility, if B was more electronegative, 
A acquires a positive charge, B acquires a negative charge. In other words, we can say that this type of bond fission results in the formation of ions. We use the term carbocation and carbon anion when we are talking about ions involving carbon. Usually, these type of reactions occur in polar solvents involving polar compounds like C2H5, Cl undergoing reaction with NaOH. And they, obviously, when you have polar solvents, we are talking about solution. But these type of reactions involving heterolytic cleavage or heteropolar uh, reactions usually take place at a moderate rate compared to reactions involving homolytic fission. Hope this makes the concept a bit more clearer. This is a very, very simple concept. We shall be dealing with where and how these fission concepts come into play when we talk about reactions in organic chemistry further, when we talk about free radical substitution, sub nucleophilic substitution, electrophilic substitution. We shall be taking this concept ahead then. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Do give us your feedback. Thank you for watching.